Hi, my name is Mark Greenwood. And I'm Frane Lessak, and we're both here to celebrate International Children's Book Day. A celebration of reading all around the world, I believe. We're here today to talk about our brand new book, Ancient, Our Country, Ancient, Ancient Wonders. Wonders. And Ancient Wonders is, is a special treat to kind of celebrate Australia, the, the country we love. Our home is indeed an ancient land. And in every corner of Australia, wonders are waiting to be discovered for curious explorers. Adventure is out there. Our country is calling. I guess one of the things that I really love about our country is that dinosaurs once roamed here. Did they really? Absolutely. I guess if I we... did know that because I did paint them. <laughs> if we travel back in time on a dinosaur trail, in outback sites from Winton and beyond, fossils are found in dusty paddocks and bone-dry riverbeds. At a place called Lark Quarry, a frenzy of footprints preserved in mudstone may tell the story of a Cretaceous encounter. Prehistoric beasts once roamed our country. I wonder, where would you like to go in our country's ancient wonders? Is there a special place that you'd like to go for an age? Can we zip over to Wolf Creek? Wolf Creek, do you know that's a place that's special for me because I actually love meteorites. You sure do. I do. You keep one in your pocket, don't you? I do, I always. Everybody does, right? Roll out a cosy swag at Wolf Creek, let the sky show begin. Far from the glow of city lights, ponder the power of the star that fell to earth. A circular rim rising up from the plains marks the site where a massive iron meteorite crashed into the desert. Hurtling through the atmosphere at cosmic speed, the impact gouged a deep crater. Space rocks once scarred our country. Indeed, they did. And if you had one other place that you would like to go in our country, Ancient Wonders, where might that be from? How about Uluru? Uluru. And Katajuta. I love Uluru and I love visiting Katajuta too. It's one of the special trips that we've done together, right? Yeah, from researching this book, we got to travel to many of the places. That's one of the great things about being an author and illustrator. We get to go on adventures to the places where stories happen. So if we roam around the rock or wander in the Valley of the Winds, at Uluru and Katajuta, these huge monoliths rise from the Spinifex Plains. To the Anangu people, these stone wonders are sacred sites. The markings, the caves, the waterholes all tell stories and hide age-old wisdom. The domes hold thousands of years of knowledge. Our country has a heart of stone. We hope that you might enjoy our country ancient wonders, go on a little exploration, find out what our country has got to offer, because as you know, Rene, our country is... is calling. Thank you. Thank enjoy you International Children's Book Day. Thank you. Bye.